tonight I will be making jelly. Um, for this we need gel gelatin cubes like these. First of all I need to cut them up. This one. Why do you need to cut them up? So I need to cut them up so that the surface area of the jelly is is much larger than if they're all still one big slab. And that will help because that will help because otherwise, otherwise it'll just be sticky. It'll just be flavourless and colourless, and also it won't be jelly. It'll just be water. Well, no. Do you think fine. that in increasing the surface area will help it to dissolve quicker? Do you think yes. that's? Do you think that might happen? Yes, that might also help. Okay. That will also help as well. So what's going to happen while it dissolves? What's what's happening inside the jelly? All the all the water. Is it about no. the protein strings in it? Oh yeah, all the protein strings are going to be uncoiling and mixing with the water. Okay. And as that happens, it means that the that the means that the gelatin will actually set and be made. It won't just be cold water. Okay, so as it cools, it's going to trap water between the protein molecules, is that right? Yes. Very good. How much water? How much water? It says 285 mil, but... So what? About that. But last time we did it. No, it's fine. You don't half have to a do point. The video. Just do it. Half. The last time we did it, it didn't. It was too watery. Just do it. Very careful. Where to? Just under the three hundred. Mind your hand up, so you don't get blown off. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoops! Never mind. Um. Oops, we seem to have uh, no, a bit too much. Do you think you might agitate it with a spoon? Oh, a fork. A fork. It should. You have to hold the jug, otherwise it will spill. That should hopefully be a bit better and not and not get so much broken. Okay, as you can see, they are slightly shrinking from what they were, which is a good sign because it means they are dissolving. Okay, that's good, good, good. Looks like they're all dissolved. Yep, they are have all been dissolved. Okay, so what's next? So now, you have to put some cold water in there, but not too much. So that's why I've tipped it in there, and you can tip a little bit in there. So only, you only want to tip it in a little bit of time, up to the 500 mark. Okay. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on, you've got it around the wrong way around. Okay, 500 mils. <laughs> okay, up to the 500. But not beyond. Otherwise we'll have too much. That's it. That's it, good boy. Okay. Just right. Okay. No, no, it works up. Give it a little stir with the fork. Okay. Okay. Then, can that go back in there? Yes. Then you need to get your moulds. Then we need to get our moulds. And pour. Not all the way up to the top. And on the pour floor. our jelly. Oh, not all the way up. Stop. That's it. Next one. 
top. Just so we can have quite Maybe a few. a little bit further than we did last one. There. That'll do. Fine. Shall I add some to the last one? Come on. Add to each a little bit. So it's almost... No, a bit more. That's it. That's it. Okay, so do you want to round off? Okay, and now all we need to do is add the lid. No, you have to just leave it there for a minute. And just then we need to put leave it there for a minute and... Then we'll put the lid on and then, then we'll put, put the in. lid on and in the fridge, which will equal them to set. Okay, and done.